Good morning, friends. Lois with Ellie Grace's Attic. I'm gonna turn my car off real quick. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm in the car today, sitting at, outside of the gym class. Uh, I'm here with your Monday morning motivation. I just wanted to give you a good word to start your week off. I'm gonna do something a little different this morning. I didn't, don't have my devotion book. I uh, have my Bible, praise God. And uh, I just feel led to share with you some good news, right? I'm gonna give you, how many of you in school always hated the pop quizzes, right? Uh, they were uh, unexpected, right? And uh, we always wish we'd had an answer, right? A ch the answers ahead of time, a cheat sheet. Well, today I'm gonna give you a cheat sheet. Uh, I'm gonna give you the answers to a test, right? Two questions on this test uh, that we're gonna, um, we're gonna have one day when we get to glory and we stand before the Lord God, he is gonna ask us two questions, right? He's gonna ask you, or uh, all of us, each of us will stand alone, not with our friends, not with our following, not with our husbands, not with our children, but we will stand alone before God and we will have to give an answer for what did you do with my son Jesus, right? And I hope that each of us are able to say, um, I accepted him as my Lord and Savior. I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Um, I hope that we have all had that salvation experience. Uh, in Matthew chapter 16, Jesus himself asked Peter, who do you say that I am? And we're all going to have to answer that question one day. The second question the Lord God is going to ask us is, what did you do with what I gave you? What did you do with what Jesus gave you, right? With your talents, your treasures, the, your finances, your time. What did you do with that? God tells us in Matthew 28 uh, to go and make disciples, right? Of all the nations, right? To help other people, to bless other people, to tell them about Jesus as well. So, um, yeah, where he's not going to ask us, uh, what organization we were a part of. He's not going to ask us what denomination we, we wore, uh, what clothes we wore. He's not going to ask us how much money was in our bank account, how popular we are. He uh, is not going to ask us uh, how big our social media following was, right, um, or any of those things. He's going to ask us, what did you do with my son Jesus, and what did you do with the resources I gave you? How did you serve the kingdom? So um, that was just on my heart to share with you this morning. Um, that I hope you know the answers to those questions. I hope that you can look within your own heart, within your life, and answer those questions honestly and openly to the Lord. Um, if you need information, if you need scripture, if you need somebody to pray with you, please private and message me. I would love um, to share more with you about Jesus and how you can have a relationship with him, how much he loves you, uh, and how he can change your life just like he's changed mine. So uh, if you need more information about that, I would love to, to be here for you and to give that to you. But I uh, know this morning that you are loved right? God loves you. He wants to have a relationship with you. He wants to walk with you daily, uh, and he wants to use you to bless others. So I hope this encourages your heart this morning. It is good news, right? Jesus loved us enough to step out of heaven. He um, became a human, right? He, he died on the cross for our sins and rose again so that we could have eternal life with him. So I love you guys. Uh, again, I hope this blesses your heart as it did mine. I need this reminder as well. Um, I'll be back later with a spring craft. I've got a cute little bunny we're going to make this week, right? Uh, so look, look out for that. Stay tuned for that. Click those three little dots so you can be notified and uh, we can do some crafting together. So I love you guys. Have a happy